Didi Hirsch is a large nonprofit community mental health center. We have 11 different sites throughout Los Angeles, and we also operate the county's 24-hour crisis hotline for folks who are experiencing crises in both English and Spanish. We see everyone, in fact, at our different centers, each one has a slightly different population that we serve. Those in South and West Los Angeles serve a large number of minorities. We have one site in Glendale that serves a large part of the Armenian community, and each community has its own struggles. Some have more immigrants that have a lot of stress from that, we also have a lot of folks who are impoverished. Our mission is to help those who don't have resources. And in those populations, we see high rates of depression, serious mental illness, and also substance abuse. At Drew, I'm the chair of the Department of Psychiatry. We have about 17 full and part-time faculty members who both do research and then teaching and education in the various schools there, including the medical school, which has about 117 people, and the nursing school, and also the College of Medicine and Health and Sciences. This morning I did a welcome on behalf of the Charles R. Drew Department of Psychiatry, and I commented about the importance of community partnerships to make sure that research that we do is relevant to communities of color and to have a conversation with them all through the research process so that what we result in are outcomes that matter and that are relevant. I'm very, very optimistic that with partnerships like those that CPIC have created that we'll be able to make interventions that are relevant and very, very effective because it seems like with very limited resources, we can stretch those out to go a long way if you ask the people who need the help what type of help they need and how you can deliver it. Well, when you see people in the media who've created horrible, heinous acts, often mental health problems come up as a possibility. But the reality is, is that the majority of the mentally ill are not dangerous, and especially if treated. So I believe that the answer shouldn't be so much limiting access to guns, because people are always going to have ways that they can hurt people, but to make access to mental health services more available and to have people not feel ashamed or stigmatized to go and get those services. I'm from the other LA. I'm originally from Lower Alabama, and um, honestly, the community that I came from, which is Mobile, Alabama, near Pritchard, looks a lot like what we see here in South LA in terms of the complexion of the people there and the resources that they have or don't have. Um, I'm just a passionate advocate for people to get the care that they need and to make sure that they not just get mental health care, but physical health care in an integrated model, which seems to be where we're headed with um, health care reform and the Affordable Care Act to really take care of the whole person. Well, there's a lot of unknowns at this point about uh, the Affordable Care Act. What we do know, though, is that more people who haven't had access to services are now going to come seeking them. And we as health care providers really need to be ready to not just count heads and give services, but to make sure that through the services that we give, that they're effective, that they're competitive, and that they're affordable and accessible. And we need more providers because there are going to be more folks that come to us for help. It's a, it's a great thing. I do have a Facebook page, uh, it's under my name, Curly Bonds, and also through the D.D. Hirsch site, there's a bio about me and information about the services at D.D. Hirsch. And at Drew, we have a departmental website with all the faculty listed. I'm not much of a tweeter, but I am active in communicating through social media, just mainly through Facebook and LinkedIn. Oh.